In this video, we demonstrate how to make a room size camera obscura, which is an exciting project for students of all ages. This ray diagram shows how the image in a camera obscura is upside down. Left and right are also reversed as seen here. We will turn this business office into a camera obscura. We are in downtown Asheville, North Carolina, USA. Note the majestic mountains in the distance. Our nice window view will be displayed on the wall as well as on part of the ceiling because we are on an upper floor. And once we cover the windows and make a small hole, we will be able to see all the hustle and bustle outside projected on this wall upside down. This is the black plastic that we're going to be using to cover the room. You can get it at any hardware store. At black plastic sheeting. Use a knife to cut a hole in the sheeting. It is easier if you first trace a circle using a round object. So this is the size that I cut for the brightest point of the day. It's two centimeters which is the size of a US penny which is what I used to trace. Um, as the day goes on and we have less light around 3 o'clock I found that a hole more like this size would work and uh, at 5 or 6 a hole about this big will still let enough light through to see the image. This is a piece of plastic sheeting that is going to go over the window with the hole in it. So I have found through a lot of experimentation that you need an easy way to be able to change the aperture size when you're trying to find the optimal size and when you're trying to change the aperture throughout the day. So I have cut a rectangle in this plastic sheeting and on the back have reinforced it with cardboard so that it's easier to, when it's hanging on the wall, to be able to duct tape these down and then change them. Cover all windows with black sheeting. Then turn off all room lights and check for light leakage. You may need to use extra tape or apply more than one layer of sheeting to fully block out the light. Windows without blinds will most likely need more than one layer. Here is our room after converting it to a camera obscura. Once we turn the room lights off, the enchanting image will appear. Our inverted city scene can be seen on two walls and the ceiling. This still is a 30 second exposure taking with a Nikon D90 digital camera. We were charmed by the moving images produced by our camera obscura. This video is of the ceiling where we could easily see the tops of the cars as well as the road below. We also saw motion on the walls. When making your own camera obscura, if possible, pick a place where there's interesting outside activity so that you may also view motion.